Right, so this is my um, new old um, mini lathe that I just acquired from eBay. Uh, the reason I uh, brought this is because of the amount of accessories it's got with it. Normally, you generally see them with a couple of dead centers and a um, dog face plate I've seen them before, but you don't normally get uh, this amount of original accessories. So that's the reason why I brought it mainly. Uh, Everything is uh, nice and cleaned up. I've cleaned everything out. The headstock, uh, spindle, I've cleaned out. Uh, all the uh, top slide and uh, the carriage. Cleaned everything. It all runs really smoothly now. Everything runs nice. It doesn't. <coughs> it doesn't seem to be any wear on the uh, headstock spindle, thankfully. I think at some point it may have been restored because uh, the spindle uh, looks like it's got no wear on it whatsoever, and also the um, bed of the lathe looks like it's been hand scraped. Yeah, it's lovely and smooth. It's got a really nice finish to it. I don't think it would have probably have come out of the manufacturers like that. I may be wrong, but uh, it does look like it's been hand scraped. Uh, everything works nice and smoothly. I haven't got a motor set up at the moment, but I'll hopefully I will do soon. Uh, it came with quite a lot of accessories, so that's the reason why I brought it. Uh, it came with a four jaw chuck, I'm a bit disappointed in the chucks because the jaws are quite tight and it takes uh, quite a bit of force to open and uh, close the jaws. Uh, I think the jaws may have been replaced at some time and that's the reason why. Because the jaws, the faces on them, look like they've never really been used. But yeah, there's a four jaw chuck there and they've got a three jaw chuck. And this one is also quite tight, and the uh, jaws look like they're brand new basically, they look like they've had hardly no wear whatsoever. But the actual chuck looks like it's had quite a bit of wear, so I think that at some point these jaws have been replaced. But they all line up perfectly fine, they all centre nicely, so that's the main thing. I expect they'll wear in with time. But uh this chuck, which I found a bit funny, I haven't actually seen one without Tommy bars before, but uh, since then I looked on the internet and uh, apparently there are quite a, quite a lot of clock making type lathes without Tommy bars on the chucks. But yeah, it makes it quite hard to open and close the jaws. So I have actually loosened the um, jaws off just ever so slightly on the front to make it a little bit easier. Uh, but yeah, also, um, accessories I got with it. I got this um, pulley here, which is either a replacement for this pulley here, or it was designed to go on a motor, which I expect that's what it was for, and that's what I'm going to use it for. Also, it came with a uh, face plate, which I think is about 6 centimetres. I'll just check that. Oh no, it's not actually. It's 10 centimetres. So it's around about 4 inches. So you could turn something up to 10 centimetres on this lathe with the face plate. Also, it came with this um, uh, driven face plate for a uh, dog and uh, the centres. Also, it came with a tailstock uh, centre for um, drilling like round bar stock, which should come in handy. Also, a travelling steady. Don't think they're the original uh, bars in there. 
you know, probably would have been brass, but they may be original, I don't know. Also, uh, which I'm quite pleased with, there's this uh, die holder, which will take two different sized dies, which will definitely come in handy. And two angle plates for the face plate, I presume. Also two dead centers, and these are uh, zero morse taper. I think they're truncated ones, the short ones. Here's a uh, difference between a number one morse taper and a zero. And there's a number two morse taper. And then there's a number three next to it. So that goes to show how small this little zero morse taper is. I have ordered one off uh, the internet just to see if they are, if they will fit the newer ones. <coughs> also, it came with some lathe tools. It came with a, uh, I think that's a threading lathe tool but this hasn't got any threading capabilities so probably turn it to something else because it's high speed steel and then there's a right handed uh, turning high speed steel and also a looks like a left hand roughing tool parting tool A boring bar or a uh, internal threading tool. I think it's probably an internal threading tool. Another parting tool, and another piece of high-speed steel which has been made into a uh, right-hand turning tool. But um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with it, apart from the chucks. A bit disappointed with the chucks, but uh, it's not too bad. I did have a look on the internet, and the Wakefield lathes uh, it looks like they were made in Sheffield by um, Faircut, and they're pretty similar to the uh, Super Adept lathes. So yeah, uh, once I get the motor um, up and running on this, I'll be sure to make another video so you can see it in operation. Right, so for comparison in size, this is the mini lathe I've just got, and this is my other mini lathe, uh, the Seg C3 mini lathe that was uh, sold by Waco. So, mini lathe mini lathe so thanks very much for watching and uh see you next time